Number 25 on the PERP practice test asked me to find the x-intercept of this line. Um, I have a cute little memory mnemonic for this one. Ask yourself, what is this, this symbol? What is this symbol? And a lot of people know it's the yin-yang, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here next to the problem. I'm going to set up some parentheses. And this is yin-yang, so this here is going to be my yin. Well, that's going to give me my y-intercept. And this isn't yang, this is going to be my x-intercept. Um, so a lot of people do this the same way. They call it the cover-up method. Basically, when, when y equals 0, I'm sorry, when x equals 0, this is the x value, you, you get 2 times 0 is 0. So they just say cover up that x term to find the y-intercept. So it leaves me with a little tiny equation, negative 6y equals 18. So you would divide both sides by negative 6, and you would get y equals negative 3. So the y-intercept for this line would be 0, negative 3. But that's not what it's asking. It's asking for the x-intercept. So by that same rationale, when y equals 0, you get... 6 times 0 is 0, so you can just cover up the y value. And that leaves you with a little tiny equation, negative 2x equals 18. And then to solve for x, you would divide both sides by negative 2, and that would give you negative 9. And this is asking me for the x-intercept. So negative 9, 0 is my actual answer for number 25. And 9, 0, no. 0, negative 9, they're trying to trick you. Negative 9, 0, that's the correct answer choice. <clears throat> Number 26 from the PERT practice test, it says find the y-intercept of this line. And it gives it to me in standard form. So again, I'm going to use this symbol, which is yin-yang. So the y-intercept is going to have a 0 for the x value. And I just do the cover-up method again, and I'm going to cover up the x value. And that gives me a little tiny equation, negative 6y equals negative 24. So if I were to solve this for y, I would divide both sides by negative 6. And that gives me 0, 4. My y-intercept would be 0, 4. If I wanted to find the x-intercept, I know it doesn't ask me to. I would cover up the y value, and that would give me 2x equals negative 24, and that would give me the answer of negative 12, 0 for the x-intercept. But This one's just asking for the y-intercept. And notice 0, 4, it's choice D. It's choice D.